Let's start off with the first thing you can do for carp care, and that is using a micro barb or a barbless hook. Having big barbs on your hook really rips carp's mouths out. Carp have got very soft mouths, and if you've got a huge barb on it, it's really going to damage the fish. So micro barbs or barbless. Now the first step after you've netted the fish, I've netted a fish and it's in here, is what I like to do is get that hook out of the fish early. The earlier you get your hook out the fish, the less likely the rig is going to get caught in the net itself. If it is tangled in a and a bit, um, uh, bit solid in the mouth and it's difficult to take it out, that's all right. Then you can take it out on your landing mat or your unhooking mat. The great thing about specimen nets is that they come apart. So you're not going to pick up the fish like this. You're going to just disconnect it quickly like that. Keep the fish in the net. Roll it up. While you're rolling it up, you want to put the fish in line with your, your poles. And before you lift it up, you've got to check its pectoral fins aren't out. If you pick up a 10 kilo fish with its fins out, you can actually break the fin. What I find is letting the fish rest a bit in the water between the times you take it out and, you've, and the, uh, between the times you've caught it and when you've taken it out is, if you can imagine running a 100 meter sprint and then at the end of the race, you hold your breath that's what's happening to these guys they are fighting you and really working hard and then we're going to take them out the water so if you give them a bit of time to rest they will actually recover a little bit before you take them out the water and get your photo you get your waist sling and the waist sling is very good because it keeps the carp safe from falling out and all those kind of things so here we go it's going into my capture ngt waist sling net and all everything is in it Zip it closed so it's not going to slip out one end. There you go. So the fish is in here. If you want to leave it in here for a while, while it gets its breath, while you get your water and your, your um, unhooking mat or your sling or anything like that ready, that's cool. So next step, double check those fins aren't poking out the bottom. She's fine. Let's go. Now I've already wet this cradle. So that the fish stays wet. It's very important that the fish stays wet. This is for two reasons, so that the fish doesn't dry up. And the second reason is that it, um, it actually keeps the temperature of the fish as the same temperature as the water. You don't want it heating up or cooling down too much. Cool, let's open up these zips a little bit. Oh, relax. Now see how the fish is going crazy now. It's keeping it off the ground so it's not gonna hurt itself. Okay. Now what we do, unroll our mat, our net. Shush. You slide it underneath it nicely. Guide it, guide it with your hands. There you go. Into your cradle. Now with your NGT bucket, there's a couple of different sizes of these great things. Nice camo. We get our water, our dam water, not tap water, over the fish. Regulate that temperature. There you go. Fishy. Now we close it up again. Like that. And then we take it to the weigh station. Turn on the on your scale. Now it's got nice little rings here where we can hook it on. Fish is not going to come off. A nice NGT weigh stand. Fish weighs 8.1 kilos minus the stand. And uh, minus the wasteling, the capture wasteling. 8.1 kilos, fish is fine. Let's take it back to the take it back to the cradle. NGT Rogue Cradle, which is pretty cool. It folds up nice and small so you can stick it in your car and then it's nice and big enough for big fish. The next step is carp care medicine. All it is is a disinfectant. So that if you can see here and here, the carp has lost some scales. So this is now an exposed wound that can get infected in the water. What I have here is a nice little bottle that'll last you forever. If it's cheap, it's like, this cost me like 90 bucks. And it, all it does is disinfect in the wound. Now what you do, when the fish has stopped attacking me, relax, bro, relax, 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 relax. Once they go back into the water. Okay, what you do is you open it up, and spray it onto the wounds. Give it a little bit of a rub. So make sure it gets all over every one of the missing scales. 
There you go, nicely. Then the last one you do is after you've got all the wounds, you find the hook point. Where the hook point went in, mine went in just the corner of the mouth. Stop fighting me, please. There you go, in the corner of the mouth, rub that in. Cool, fish is now disinfected. Disinfected. You can now take your photo of your nice fish. Okay. Now holding a carp, you must never hold it by its lips or its gills or anything like that. Now when picking up a carp, you slide your hands underneath and you use one finger behind the anal fin, one in front, and one finger in front of the pectoral fin, one behind. So slide it underneath, put your fingers there, and then you hold it just like that, with your elbow on your knee to support your hand. Don't hold it out like a muku and point your hands, like straighten your arms and all that stuff. Just like this is fine, everyone will see that it's a nice big fish, and you can see how the fish is nice and balanced. If it does kick or anything, you lower it nicely onto the mat. Don't try to hold it up. Rather lower it down, then try again. Now let's put this beauty back. Lower this beauty back into the water. She can now breathe, don't have to stress. And yeah, let's get this beautiful fish back and end our carp care session. Unzip it nicely. One last look at our lovely fish, just like that. Goodbye, you lovely fish. And gently put it back in the water. Don't throw the thing too far. Goodbye, you lovely fish. See you next time when you're 100 kilos. Bye-bye. <laughs> done. Carp care, done. Fish is going to grow to be big. We're going to catch it again in a couple of years when she's nice and fat and healthy. And no one's going to give me cuck about it on, the, on Facebook. Well, they might. I might have left out a step or two. Oh, last thing. Always have your, your pincers, your um, pliers on the bank in case the hook doesn't want to come out. That always comes in healthy and handy. Till next time, please remember to like, share, comment, all those cool things. I'll see you next time on this Tip Top Fishing. Tight lines, guys.